Hey everyone, it's the Guru. Um, this is going to be my overview of the list. Um, I originally, like, I know that it's been a little while since the list got posted. It's actually been like uh, two or three days. But I originally made a video with Alan, uh, aka Chisonian121. Um, we were going to do a dual video on this, like, where we both talk about cards. Um, if for some reason, like, when I did it, my recorder program, like, it recorded his voice, but then it, like, overlaid it, like, seven seconds off, and I couldn't figure out how to fix it, so basically, like, me and him were always talking at the same time, more or less, on my thing, so I'm gonna have to figure that out, and we'll, maybe we'll do that next time, um, so this is just gonna be me going over the list and explaining what got banned, what didn't get banned, etc. Um, I need to go to, that's the old list, sorry, let me go to... It'll ever load. <laughs> Sorry, give it a second. Internet Explorer has some no go away. Has some loading issues. It has loading issues, and it says, "Do you want to make this your main browser?" Oh yes, of course I do. Why not? Okay, so first, four all four little baby dragons that man. They were too quick. They were too good. They were too easy to use. They were too. They were too everything. They were just really, really broken. And Konami realized it, so they banned them. Stratos ban doesn't really matter. They give it back e call, so Stratos can go himself in another dimension <laughs> like it really doesn't matter <clears throat> a lot of people are like oh e heroes are dead no it just means we have one it just means we changed the searcher that's all we did number 16 shockmaster a lot of people are like why 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 well this next format was going to be a much slower format and certain decks could access shockmaster too easily for example x xyz gadgets um samurais etc and if you just give certain decks access to shockmaster and don't give other decks access to shockmaster well, bad things happen, and they realize that, so they got rid of it. Card destruction, thank God. I know a lot of people are bitching, saying that since they hit E Dragons, they didn't have to hit card destruction because they also hit Redo. But card destruction's been a broken card for a long time. I mean, even for Dark Worlds. And, like, all you Dark World players, I mean, you know card destruction was broken. I mean, you open up with, like, double graph, a double snow, and, like, beige, and then you draw card destruction, and you're like, oh, look, I win the game. It's, it's not, yeah, it's just don't even try and argue that one. Um, get with the six samurai. Thank you, dear God. That card is stupid as fuck and need to be banned for like three formats or more. Any samurai players who say that card didn't need to be banned, well, I think you're stupid. <clears throat> Personally, heavy storm banned. Thank you, God. I've been saying like four or five of the cards I've been saying they needed to ban for several formats. They banned on this list. So like I, I, I like I have so much respect for Konami right now because they like they really manned up and got rid of the, got, like got rid of the stupid crap in this game. Heavy were like, Heavy Storm was too sacky. Monster Reborn was too sacky. Um, Pink Pot of Avarice, like, I know why they did it, because it was too good for what it was. They made a pseudo Pot of Avarice called P Pot of Duplicity. That me you have to have three different types, and you can't perform your battle phase. So you can still recycle and draw, but you just can't, like... Pot of Avarice was just too good um, for plants back in the day. Um, it gave them too much draw power. And so they were afraid of that happening again, because a lot of people were going to go plants this format, so they had to hit... Pot of Avarice to slow the deck down. Spellbook of Judgment. Fuck. I mean, you can still play Spellbooks, but it's nowhere near as good as it was. Like, I played spell, I've played a couple Spellbooks in playtesting, and they're still good, but they're, they're nothing without Judgment. Judgment was so broken in that deck. Um, Super Rejuvenation, just a broken card. It was part of so many OTK, FTKs, like Exodia and crap, so I'm glad it's gone. Um, Ban Solemn Judgment. Now, that one, I like... I, I kind of understand why they did, because it's just like... It doesn't matter what your life points are. You just play it, you stop anything. Period. So it's like, it was a little bit too good for what it was, but I, I don't think they needed to ban it. Like, I really don't. <clears throat> Ultimate Offering, definitely. Since they want a slower format, you can't leave that around. Otherwise, gadgets will just go nuts away. As for the bans, I think every one of these bans are amazing and totally needed. Um, limited to one. Uh, Atlantean Dragoons and Deep Sea Diva. I agree. Slow down the Atlanteans a little bit. They didn't slow them down a lot. I mean, they still spam really hard. Don't get me wrong. Atlanteans are still really good. But it slowed them down a little bit. Uh, Firefish Spirit. They chose to limit Spirit here over Rooster, which I think was an amazing idea. Because I really don't care about Rooster. Like, honestly, like, Spirit <laughs> annoys me more than Rooster does. So, I mean, I'm okay that Spirit got the limit here instead of Rooster. Um, Gen X Ally Birdman. Part of OTK, FTKs, etc. So they had to get rid of him. Um, 
Reshi Rabbit, just too much of a pliable searcher these days. You just summon him and just go go ham. Thunder King Ryu, slower format again. They don't want anti-meta, like, destroying everything. So, TKR got dropped to one. Ivishki Mind August, again, part of the OTK, FTK, etc. So, got hit. Um, do Lauren? I, I don't even, like... I'm guessing they were afraid of Mermails using him as a format. I'm not sure. Like, that's kind of weird to me. Um, but, yeah, probably Mermails. That's what I would say. Constellar Potomoly M7. Stupid broken card. Like, I don't even know why I have to explain that one. Um, Dimensional Fissure and Gold Sarko. Gold Sarko was too good of a searcher card for E-Dragon decks. It was like double Rota, basically, for E-Dragons. Because um, you got one now, and then you got one two turns later. Dimensional Fissure. Dimensional Fissure and Macros both got hit to one. Because, again, when you hit the meta so hard like they did, you got to hit the anti-meta. Royal Tribute, again, because it's anti-meta, bottomless, compulsory, um, macro, solemn warning, soul drain, uh, torrential tribute. Again, like, they hit the meta so hard. They didn't want anti-meta decks just coming back and controlling the format to death like that. And that was smart of them. They were really smart because if they left all those things at like two or three or whatever they were, like anti-meta would just destroy everything. It'd be such a derby format. So, I mean, I'm really glad they hit those. Um, EEV, thank you. Such a stupid card. <laughs> like, that card just sacks games like so many times. So, it's, it's good to see it go. Um, Plague Spreader and Mizuki the two. Awesome. That means zombies can play again. Uh, Light Swords have double Plague Spreader back. That means Light Swords can go ham with it again. Uh, Light Swords can also run double Mizuki to just keep using Plague Spreader over and over for Synchros. Like, really, really good. Uh, really, really good idea on Konami's part. TG Striker's back, meaning you can run TG Stun again. Um, you can run TG Striker and Samurai's. It works that way. I mean, there's just a lot of things you can do with it. So, TG Striker coming back to two is really cool. Fire Formation Tenki, a little bit hurt on Fire Fist. Not amazing, but. It slowed him down a little bit along with the spirit. D Prison, again, you have to hit the anti meta when you hit the meta. And Militia's Earth Sukiyomi, they're just general good monsters. Like, there's no reason to keep them on the list anymore because they're not, like, broken like they used to be. Um, a hero lives, pay half your life points, get one monster, go for it. I'll just veil it. Um, <laughs> Black Whirlwind. Uh, that, this is, like, really, really good in my opinion because, like, this makes Blackwing super playable again. Like, which I think is really cool. Like, I've missed seeing Blackwing decks. Um, like, I like diversity. I love diversity. The more diverse the format, the more the happier I am. I don't even care if I don't have side decks for certain decks. It's just fun to play against different decks. E Emergency Call. Like I said, they banned Shadows, gave us E Call back. So I was like, I don't even care. Um, I'd prefer E Call over Shadows anyway. Heretic Seal of Convocation. Heretics are, can go crazy. Uh, Pot of Duality. Like, slower decks. Like, Heroes and Countdown and stuff like that have more search power now. So. Fuck yes. <laughs> and Scapegoat. Um, Scapegoat was really interesting. Like, a lot of people were bitching about this card. They are like, oh, they wouldn't bring Scapegoat to three. They wouldn't bring Scapegoat to three. Yes, they will. And they did. So, all the people who said Scapegoat won't go to three. <laughs> right there. Screw you. Um, the reason they brought this to three, in my opinion, was because, like, they want a slower format. And Scapegoat promotes slower formats. It promotes goat control. It promotes plants. It promotes just general stalliness decks. Which is what they wanted. They wanted this to be a much slower paced format. And if you look at all the bands, all the bands support that. Um, a lot of people say they did this to make money off the Bujans just to sell all the Bujan stuff. But the Bujan stuff isn't like expensive. Like, and most most of the Bujan stuff isn't got from buying boxes anyway. It's gotten from like playing in tournaments. So it's like, yes, they are gonna make money off it because people get the new packs. But people will always get the new packs, even if like, even if there's nothing in the new packs, you still get the new packs because you play in a tournament and you get packs. Like that's just how it is. <clears throat> um. But I think this was a really good ban list. Like, Konami just, like, borrowed Chuck Norris's balls here and was like, you know what? This game is going to be awesome. And I'm just, like, I'm super excited about it. Um, let me know what you guys think um, and what deck you might be running. Uh, right now I'm testing my the gadgets. They're playing really good. I'll have a video coming up in, in a little bit of those. Um, I'm testing Heroes, um, um, the Alias Hero Stun from, like, th two years ago they used to run. It's doing really good. So like I said, I'll post this deck list and you guys can let me know what you think.